Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Coralus, and you are looking at the brand new Red Sea LED, the Reef Spec 90. This thing is incredible, and it just came out. So this is one of the new releases with the website, and there is a new build your own and create your own aquarium that you can actually customize live on the website. So that's a very, very informative and helpful tool. I will put that in a link below and I want you guys to check that out. So now back to the lights. So one of the cool things about this light with the mount right away is that if you're working on a tank in a tight space and you have to get a rock out, this does lift up. So that's kind of cool. You can see the light right there and you can see the mounting bracket in the arm. So very, very cool. Uh, you can tip that up. The wiring goes through the tubing. This is an aluminum extrusion and the wiring can fit right through there and they have it pop up and go back through and down the arm. So I haven't clamped this on yet, but it is a nice little way to hide the wiring. But So there's that form and you also can hang the LEDs in the little trays. So they do sell these trays where the lights just fit right in like a little pocket and I'm sure they have mounting bars that will be coming soon and these can go inside a canopy or hang from the ceiling or whatever you guys would like. So they do have a really, really large uh, airflow through there, like a radiator built in. So for these LEDs, when they get hot, um, they cool down on top really nicely. So if you put them in a tight, tight space, like a canopy, they won't overheat. There's plenty of room for them to stay cool. So that is a nice feature and it's a problem you see with cer certain LEDs where they overheat in canopies. So I don't want to shine the camera directly into the light, but you guys can see that this has a really, really cool LED and a disbursement, um, like a kind of a ball. So it gives you a really wide angle spread right away. You don't have to have those very high. As you can tell this tank over here, the light is not that high off. So there's our first look. I am going to show you guys the app. Um, later on, I just wanted to do this video for you right now so you could see it. Those of you who are interested in one of these and just wanted some more information, we do have these available. So I will put more information in the link in the description below so I can take you to our website or you can come here in our store and purchase them directly with us. So as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Stay tuned for the next one. And those of you guys who watch this channel regularly and aren't just asking about Red Sea Lights, Christian is over here and he is trying to loosen this silicone on this frag tank and remove the box. So this was one of those cheap uh, frag tanks that we got from a distributor and this box was just siliconed on here by three little dabs. So anyone who knows anything about capillary action, um, what you're gonna get is an extreme amount of salt creep. So as the water between this gap, it creates a uh, pocket of air and it creates a lift. It's gonna create like a vacuum and suction. So it's gonna be a never ending path of salt crustacean. So that's something that happens. And if they just would've put a bead of silicone straight across, that wouldn't be an issue. But no matter what you do, you're always gonna get that salt creep on the edge just because of that bad seal. Um, so we're removing it and we're just going to use these Seachem Title 35 filters just to keep the water moving for our frag tanks. So we are bringing a lot of LPS corals and we really want to, you know, move the water around for you guys so you can see what they look like. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> and the AI primes over there are what we're going to bring. So we'll put two AI primes over this tank and we're just going to bring some goodies for you guys for the Mason Dixon swap tomorrow at that pet place in Lancaster. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, those of you who inquired about the Patreon supporters, I do appreciate that. It really does help us make these videos and keep going. So the more contributors we get, the more time we have to do educational videos and show you guys around and basically improve. So your support is crucial to our survival. Save the local LFS. Everybody join on now. Um, and like I said, we'll have that in the link in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.